Hello everybody, my name is Cyrix and today I'll be your narrator. We are going to be taking a look at level 16 Void Clusters, also known as Cabin Hell. Survival difficulty, class 3, unsafe, moderate creature amount. Description, level 16, also known as Cabin Hell, is a series of endless cabin room doors along a hallway all made out of wood. Most of the time, the doors are closed, but there are exceptions. The doors which are open usually lead to a bedroom with not much furniture on it, but besides a bed, lamp, and closet. The other types of doors are the bathroom doors. They lead to an empty room with mirrors. The level's hallways contain lamps at every door and trash bins at the end of every long hallway. There's also exit signs sometimes, and following them has a chance to lead you to an exit door. Some people say that the level can be exited by random windows seen through the rooms and halls, but this has not been attempted just yet. So far, this is only a conspiracy. The hallways have fire alarms on them that should not, under any circumstances, be pulled. Even if a fire happens, it will attract a being known for loud noises, as the appearance of a humanoid, but the stench of rotten eggs and the sound of a faint hum buzz. They call this entity the Riley, due to a paper note indicating its name. Riley is said to be blind, but on only hearing the sounds of its victims. It's completely unknown if he has bad hearing, but either way, it's noted to not make any noise when you feel his presence. You will hear a faint hum buzz when he is near. Aside from the creatures located here, which more are being discovered as of lately, they all seem to be hostile. In one way or another, the entities have been granted this behavior by unknown means. The odds of finding a passive creature is like finding a needle in a haystack, which means none at all. The odds of surviving an encounter with these entities are low, even with the necessary equipment to take down these foul beasts. Their aggression has been recorded at a 5 out of 5, being the highest anybody can witness. Other than that, the level is completely uneventful. You can also find snack machines, but this is very rare. Once you find one, there's a number of codes you can use to get different items. Inputting the code, 8... 7-4 can give you oat milk, and putting in the code 404 will transport you to level 404, and putting the code 88 will transport you to level 88, and putting the code 009 will give you a paper saying, have you experienced deep sleep? Then you will fall asleep unconscious and wake up in level 9. And putting the code 7172 or above will cause a random entity hostile entity that isn't native to this level to spawn. Discovery Log Date March 30th, 2013 I have found a cabin in level 0 and entered it to see what I could potentially find. My entry was not looking too bright as I was attacked two seconds in by a lurker. Why do I need to start running immediately? Whatever. My plans in this new level is to form a colony, but as to how, I am very uncertain of where to start and how to pull it off. My best bet would be to explore the level to see what I have found about it, even if anything is odd or straight up supernatural. Date. April 1st, 2013. This place is bigger than I, what I could process. It's just hurting my brain knowing the size of this cabin like Jesus. I've walked one kilometer I think and all I saw was a hostile roamer. That's literally it. I will go into the rooms right now and just as I thought, uneventful. And yet people say this place is dangerous. No wonder. If only I... Since when did this level have fluorescent lighting? I don't know what to do with this 
thing has been on my tail for at least about an hour now. I look behind me and it is hideous. It's very ugly looking. I don't know if this thing can say anything to me, but whatever it is, it ain't messing around with me. This bastard has been testing my running skills for quite a while. I'm tired as hell. Tired to the point where I could almost pass out. I wish I could just leave an opening for this damn thing. Oh, well, it's found me. End of log. Colonies and outposts. The Wooden Lords. Population, 17. The Wooden Lords are the most active group on the level. They don't have a definitive base, but they are found near the snack machines usually, helping wanderers get supplies and f around the level. They're the most friendly group of the level. They usually reside in rooms to not be the next victim of Riley. The Rumors. Population, 67. The Rumors are an economic association of wanderers being which started on level 16 and expanded into other levels. This is their main base, but they aren't open for new in inhabitant for habitants, but they are always open for trades. Their main trade is Romer skin, reason of their name, and oat milk. They have a strict policy for anyone for anybody interested in joining. Every week, they need to bring back one kilogram of Romer skin if they don't want to be kicked out. Creatures. The only and the most common entities on this level are Romers. Romers are common on level 16. Some consider it the or the point of origin of four of these beings. Romer hunting is a really popular activity on level 16, which has caused hallways near outposts to be completely devoid of them. As they get killed, as they always get killed near them, so roamers try to avoid colonies and outposts as much as they can. Dog walkers. This creature is spawned manually when inputting the code, when someone inputs the code 173 on snack machines. The entity will only last 10 minutes before despawning completely. It is unknown how this process works, but it has to do with the machine itself. Me and you. This entity, you can summon this entity by inputting any code on a very specific vending machine. The machine used to spawn the entity will look in poor condition as has been done before. Unfortunately, fortunately, it doesn't cause any weird effects to happen on the level, as the entity's behavior is kill one, move on. The entity has even stated that it has no interest in being in the level for long, and quote, has better things to take care of. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The only known entrance to level 16 is entering from a wooden cabin in level 0. Exits. Using the snack machines and then putting the code 404 to get to level 404, 88 to get to level 88, or 000 to get to level 0. There's a rumor that inputting the code 009 will make you fall asleep and wake up in level 9. Entering a door with an exit sign will lead to level 26.